Hello, this is Lee Natero. I'll be showing you how to create a confidence interval for a difference in two population proportions using the TI-89. The example we'll be looking at comes from Chapter 10, Section 1 of the Practice of Statistics. To begin, hit Enter on Stat List Editor. Then, hit 2nd F2 to access the F7 menu. We'll be doing a two proportions Z interval, so we want to choose Option 6. Now we need to enter the number of successes and the sample size for each of our two samples. In this example, there were 799 teens surveyed and 80% of the teens said they used social media. So 80% of 799 would be 639. The actual value you would get if you do this calculation is 639.2 but since we can't have 0.2 of a person, we need to round this to the nearest whole number. Um, also, if you do not round it to the nearest whole number, the calculator will not be able to do the calculation. So you need to round it to the nearest whole number. So 639 teens out of 799 surveyed say they use social media. And of the adults that were surveyed, 1,555 of them said they use social media, and that was out of 2,253. We're going to be constructing a 95% confidence interval, so we'll leave this as 0.95 for the confidence level. Otherwise, if it was 90% confidence, you'd change it to 0 0.90, or 99% confidence, you would change it to 0.99. But we're doing a 95% confidence interval, so we'll keep it at 0.95. We hit Enter, and we can see our confidence interval is given to us. as well as the difference in the two sample proportions. The difference in the two sample proportions was about 11%. Our margin of error is about 3.4%. And we can see the 80% and the 69% here for our two individual p hat values, along with our sample sizes. So based on this confidence interval, we can say that we are 95% confident that the true difference in the proportion of adults versus teens that use social media is between 14.3% and 7.6%. So teens are using social media, media quite a bit more than adults are.